there y'all today is Friday and it is May 3rd which means two things Friday reads and my May TBR by the way guys I reached 93 subscribers I don't know how but I wanted to say thank every one of you so much y'all are so sweet and thank you <laughs> I've arranged my May TBR in order of size because OCD. So I'm going to jump right into this and here we go. The first one that is actually out of order of size is one I just finished. Started on the first, finished on the second, and that's The Twilight Prisoner by Katherine Marsh. This book is phenomenal. It's a sequel to The Night Horse, which I will review sometime soon. The Night Horse is about a boy named Jack Purdue who ends up in the New York underworld. This one is a continuation. He's back in the underworld. What? What is going on? So many things. Just... Yes. Now they're ordered by size. The first one in this order is Solace by Gail, Gail Carriger. This is a book about steampunk, vampires, werewolves, parasols. That's what England is. I don't know too much about it, but I know I love steampunk and paranormal and parasols, so. The next one is Nightshade by Lynn Ewing. This is the third Daughters of the Moon book. This one is about Hamina and things with the Daughters of the Moon. I don't really know a lot about this book specifically, but the series itself I read the first one and really enjoyed it, so I'm continuing. Next one is Tales of a Female Nomad by Rita Golden Gelman. And the subtitle is Living at Large in the World. It's about a woman who is a nomad. She travels around the world, doesn't have a steady home anywhere, works as she goes, writes as she goes. This book follows her through Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua. Israel, the Galapagos, Indonesia, the U.S., Indonesia again, U.S. and Canada, New Zealand, Thailand. The next one is one that I feel a little shame that I haven't read yet, and that is John Green's Paper Towns. I actually haven't read any John Green because I am sad. I don't feel like I need to give a synopsis of this because it's John Green and everyone has read it, and that is why I'm reading it. The next one I bought a very long time ago and have tried to read it a couple of times. I restarted it again in December and am still working on it. And that is Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. This is a book about a young divorced woman who, after getting divorced, decides to travel through Italy, India, and Indonesia. I finally hit the point where I like the book. It took me a while to get into it. I'm about that far into it. So... This one, I am determined to finish this month. If I finish nothing else, I will finish this one. And the last one is Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan. This one's about a girl who's been talking to her imaginary friend since she was born. And she's always just accepted that he's just her imaginary friend and she's not really bothered by it. Until the Lyburns return and one of the boys is a little bit more familiar than one would expect. I've wanted to read this book for a while because look at this cover. Oh my gosh. Also, it sounds really interesting. It's kind of sounds like a paranormal romance something or other, which is of course interesting. And it's England again. So that's my May TBR. Uh, let me know what you think about any of the books in the down and that would make me happy. For my Friday reads, I am reading Eat, Pray, Love, and Unspoken. This one has to go back to the library very soon, and this one I am determined to finish. And I'm doing a little bit of a readathon with myself this weekend. It's a celebration of finals are done, you're out of school, kick off the summer, yay. If you want to join me, let me know. Do a video response or comments or something. Keep up with me on my Twitter. I'll leave those links in the down. I will be updating as far as my finals readathon goes. I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. Let me know what you'll be reading this month and today in the comments, and I will see you all next time.
Bye. I'm also going to try to clean my room. And update my calendar for the first time since March.